Hey everybody, this is Modest Green Chicken. The big news today is, okay, the president basically says, okay, the F you when it comes to veterans and rolls out the red carpet when it comes to illegal aliens. What? Uh-huh. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, I mean, that lunatic fringe the president of the United States continually attacks, it seems that that lunatic fringe is now 75% of the Republican Party, which means the people that he says that you that he can deal with are those people that the Republican Party has said, if you su continue to support the president, go find a different occupation in the next election. I mean, they, they've told Baynard, okay, Baynard is gonna do nothing at the moment because the elections in Ohio are coming up in November and they have a very, you can qualify a ballot until the first week before the election because of Obama rules. Uh, and that means that they can put, they've already got enough signatures on a recall petition to throw his rear end out. So mm -hmm. he's not going to do anything until after there's an election. And Obamacare website worked so well it broke down under the tens of millions that tried to sign up. I know, isn't that amazing? Even though Google and Bing and Yahoo said no one came. They said the people that did come were the same people coming over and over and over again. They said there is not a website in the universe that cannot tell you from minute to minute how many people are coming to your website, mm -hmm. except for the Obama website, which is amazing. It's the I mean, they just, uh, they just love. It. They just ran a thing on television in there about the people that that are doing the software for the website. Their website itself had broke down at the moment. Oh, it did. I did. And Detroit Union victory worth a refund on the deck of the Titanic. Yeah, it's not worth anything. I mean, the court said, well, you're going to have to give these people their bonus checks. That They have bonus checks coming to, okay, here's the way it works. For years, the city of Detroit has been giving an extra check that nobody was entitled to with their pension plans. Mm -hmm. uh, and, the, and, the, and, a, and a retiring judge is the last, give me to the employees union, oh, you, I order that you have to give this bonus check to all of the retirees, which basically has absolutely no weight whatsoever because the, uh, the, 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 the bankruptcy court said that it has no weight in, in their proceedings because the state has no money. You can't give people money they don't have. And China grabs a limelight from wounded U.S. at Asia-Pac summit. Yeah, because, okay, uh, Obama was going to go there and he was going to convince all these people in Asia to spend money, invest money in our country, buy our merchandise. Well, they're not buying our merchandise. They're, they're, they're investing money, all right. Uh, anybody hear about the new occupation that the JC is getting ready to start, which is doing guided tours of homes for sale in the Los Angeles area for Asians that have millions of dollars that they want to waste on homes? Mm -hmm. That's where their investments are. And Carrie says Libya raid is not a kidnapping. Oh, well, it's a kidnapping. The, the basically the World Court has ruled a kidnapping, and the United Nations has ruled a kidnapping. And Obama basically, I mean, they said this guy he did all of this stuff right now because he was having problems with his uh, popularity going down. Now he's been he's had two. They never ruled against George Bush in the World Court. They never ruled against Bush in the United Nations. But they have against the first Muslim uh, outreach president in our nation's history has been ruled as violating the corporate, uh, violating the international sanctity of another country. And veterans get the F.U. when it comes to being welcomed like the illegal aliens. Oh, God. The president of the United States gave permission for the, uh, for the mall to be used uh, in Washington, D.C. to hold what they said. Well, there's a difference between what we do, what we're doing, and what the veterans are doing. This is a First Amendment rights issue, and these people have no speech unless we do it for them. And then, basically, they got the finger from one of the, one of the older guys that just happened to be a Latin that fought for our country. He said that um, we fought for the right that you say that these people that are here illegally should have. And he said, you know, basically, we're tired of getting that finger. And he basically gave her the finger from you and other members of the Democrats. See, they lost a whole bunch of their supporters. you got to understand how many Latins are honorable servers in the military that basically resent the fact that they're being kept away from their monument, which is on private property. It's crazy! By Obama. And yet the same thing, Obama gave 
the illegal aliens and their supporters the right to use the mall and to go to the monument. Yeah, and the other people, the citizens, yeah. can but only go to These guys are parading by people in wheelchairs and walkers being led by the Parks Department. There's something very wrong about well, that. No, they one. said this guy, okay, I put it on my Facebook yesterday. When I was, when I was younger in Hollywood, my wife and I used to be basically get spit on because she was a daughter of a military officer. I was a military officer. We were not welcome at events, which is why she would go to them. This is how it is. Hollywood and the left hate the military no matter what they say. That was showing their total and absolute contempt by holding something in a place that the people in the military are not being allowed to go to. Mm. And California governor vetoes jury service for non-citizens. Because, as he found out yesterday, he doesn't even have the ACLU or the Bar Commission on his grand thing to allow illegal people that are here undocumented to hold law licenses in the state of California. They can't practice law. They do not have, that. they're not here legally. And they basically, they said, if you, okay, here's the deal is, what happens if you get, uh, you temporarily appoint one of them to be a prosecuting attorney and the person loses the case because your prosecuting attorney isn't legally supposed to be in, in the United States, let alone having a law license. So, um, uh, Brown, well, there, we, we have to go back. Every law, he said, every law has to be tweaked after it's passed. They knew this to begin with. They knew that no one in their right mind was going to allow a person with one of these law licenses to practice law anywhere in the United States. And they still did it because they were saying, up you to the people that don't go along with them. And an Italian court orders new search of Costa Concordia wreck. Well, yeah, they're trying to find like 30-some bodies. I mean, they figure, you've got to find lots of bones, but, I mean, uh, I, I saw that thing, it is just pure scrap metal. And they're going to spend three months getting it ready in the middle of winter to be hauled off to the scrap yard. No, they cut it up where it's at. It's already done all the damage it's going to do. You just cut it into pieces and ship it out. And Sarkozy future boosted his French party funding case dropped. Yeah, I mean, she's going to run for office again. Okay, what it was... Um, Obama didn't like this guy, so he supported a socialist to run the French government. And basically the socialist is it, it, basically chasing all of the wealthy people out of France. All of the movie, okay, everything is leaving France because of the socialist government that is in place. And they, so what's happening is, they all of a sudden found a guy that the president doesn't like, that probably did exactly what he was accused with, and all of a sudden they found that we prefer him than the socialist, so he didn't do whatever he was accused of. And global outrage over monster fishing trawlers. Yeah, got it. Okay, here's the thing is, these ships are so large, they're like 10 stories up in the air. These are the same type of ships that in, in the Somali waters, the pirates are going with, with uh, 20 foot long boats and machine guns and taking over. Mm -hmm. uh, and how, okay, the ships are so big, you cannot get on board one of them, but they've already had one of them taken by Somali pirates. The only way it can be done, folks, is the insurance companies have to be in on it, and somebody's tossing things over the side, because you ever tried, okay, the, 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 the holes of the ships are like about four inches thick. Uh, if you had an anti-personnel uh, hand, you know, like a rocket, it's going to bounce off the hull. And wounded gang member behind Chicago shooting. They generally are in Chicago. Been that way since I was a kid, folks. It was that way when my grandmother would. My mother's from um, my, my grandmother is from Cicero, Illinois, and she considers the people in Chicago to be sort of little whips. And new video surfaces of bikers attacking another car. Oh yeah, it seems like the police officer that was on the scene at the time also participated in the attack. Well, he didn't hurt the person. He just damaged the car. And we love that Gloria Allred is defending. She's suing. And Gloria Allwed basically went way too far. She's supporting one of the individuals that was hurt when they were when they basically what happened was a guy yanked the car door open to yank the uh, the guy out of his SUV. He knocked him down and then got drove over fleeing from the bikers. What? Yeah, and then Gloria Allred is basically suing the person that was fleeing for his life, and then to find out oh. They did it before, and they cut, cut, they did, okay, they, they were doing it, they had webcams on their helmets. Oh, God. And were filming their violence. So anyway, oh, they're, it, you can't charge them anyway because they're all Afro-American, so. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, you can't fool somebody that actually knows you.